Hello and welcome to round 5 of the Biscuit Manufacturer Showdown, where we're going to be racing some BTCC cars. Well, at least against the clock. In order to get things moving, let's bring in the Benchmark Bisson, the Bissan Flash RS BTCC. If you want a Bissan BTCC car, you have a few options. You could use the Satellite Estate car with its longitudinal front wheel drive, or the GX if you wanted rear wheel. You get a Rudolplex, or you could get what we're looking at now with the Flash. The Flash is available in two skins with the RS and the ST. Both are front wheel drive and have a choice of engines. The car can use a downsized 2.3 EcoSport engine or the BCS Turbo Boxer engine. The Flash RS managed a lap time of 1 minute 31.504. In last place is Helvetti with the CBT Touring car with a lap time of 1.38.991. Half the engineering department is wondering how they still have a job. For better or worse, the CBT Touring car is, a, is racing in BTCC. And as the biggest car, it's questionably why doesn't it just simply eat the smaller cars? A bit like Alonso. Next is the SMC Thor, the lap time of 133.477. The SMC Thor in race car form is going back to its motorsport heritages in 2019 with a 2.0-litre 5-cylinder front-wheel drive, with a 2.0-litre 5-cylinder coming from SMC's mid-range cars and hatchbacks. It's quite small and light compared to what SMC puts in higher performance streets cars. We then have the Bolt Plutino, with a lap time of 133.035. In what perhaps is the most shocking move ever, Bolt decided to enter their full size sedan Plutino model into this year's BTCC. Seeing that almost any other model in Bolt's lineup would make more sense than large executive car, no one really knows what Bolt was thinking this decision. Not even themselves. What they do know, however, is that the BTC regulations don't allow the car to stay equipped with a 4.4 litre engine or wheel drive setup. So they went to work with their SPH20 engine, most notable as the engine in their popular Locust Roadster. Whereas that version of the engine hasn't cracked 200 horsepower since its 2005 inception, the TR version has a turbo slapped on it. As the regulations mandate, a red line of 10,500 RPM and an aggressive rework of just about every other facet of the engine to produce 500 plus horsepower, which gets sent to the rear wheels. Smaller engine, less drivetrain bits and shredding of the quite luxurious interior means that the race spec is about 1,200 pounds lighter than the road car in the end. Why Bolt chose to turn a hecking chonker into the sedan sedan into a car meant to compete with smaller hatchbacks may never be known, but they hope if nothing else it turns them heads. And just falling short of the top 3 is i6 Inc's 150 VSX with a lap time of 1 minute 32.974. i6 Inc is proud to bring the 150 VSX to the world of BTCC. The front wheel drive hatchback has been given an upgrade all around, with the most notable being the engine upgrade to the LZ lineup. Starting with the engines out of the i Inc Quattro Rally, downsizing it fit to fit regulations and also beefing up the turbo has resulted in the newest line of high performance engines. The i5 Turbo LZ20 puts out 564 horsepower and 412 foot-pounds of torque and 25 PSI of boost to get the 3,249 pound chassis around the track in a timely manner 
Our engineers have worked their wizardry as other companies have called it into the max entry for the BTCC and we could be happy with what they managed to pull off. Taking third place is Sandra Moto Wivenworks, Sandra Dragon Kawami, with a lap time of 1 minute 31 467. Wivenworks were ecstatic when they were told it was time to build the first serialised racing car for the Sandra Motor Partnership, and only a little less impressed when they found out the regulations required them to make it out of steel. Sandra Dragon K was probably the least likely to be to become from the partnership featuring a Sandra Motor semi space frame shaddy C powered by a Wivenworks turbocharged engine, which was certainly not the way anyone expected things. Still, the Wivenworks touch is not as small as the Kiwami's power plant, a modernised and turbocharged version of the Luma engine used in their 2005 to present Nova Centio sports car, has been given a shorter stroke to throw out over 500 horsepower but rein in the torque to, a, to create a fully drivable customer car for the 2019 season. In second is the Wolf H50 BTCC edition, achieving a lap time of 1 minute 31.024. The Wolf H50 BTC edition, the once lost com concept car has been reimagined. Thanks to a positive response from testing and the help of Boris's showcase, we at Wolf are proud to announce the official launch of the H50, now that the production vehicle will be available for purchase in the coming weeks. But enough of that, we're here to talk racing. This mild facelift version of the H50 has been designed to fit the regs of the current BTCC championship. This new rear-wheel drive version powered by a 2 litre dual overhead cam Turbo Y5 is Wolf's next adventure into the racing leagues. Even Chalcedonia with the Type H to mop up first place with a lap time of 1 minute 29.139. The Chalcedonia Type H BTCC marks Chalcedonia's return to touring cars. After a very long break, the Type H hopes to perform just as well in touring cars as Chalcedonia did back in the 80s. The Type H has been given a smaller 2049cc engine, but it has double the horsepower of the road going version at 485 horsepower. All this going through the front wheels, but don't worry about bad cornering because of all that power. As the Type H BTCC has been tuned by Chalcedonia's new racing division, Custard Cream Tuning, to ensure it can go and win races. Right on to our leaderboard, complete with times. Here are the points earned. And here are the totals going into the last round. Speaking of which, let's bring in the new regulations. Eighty supercars. The stipulations require the car must be road legal, the year must be set to eighty nine or older, must score at least a hundred and thirty five in supercars. 
and must score less than 135 in hypercuts. Our testing track will be the track editor demo track. I wish you good luck.